Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the WordPress Customizer, which was introduced to WordPress a little while ago, and it's, it's meant to be kind of a visual editor for your WordPress blog or your WordPress site. It can't do everything, but it can do a lot of stuff, and the amount it can do depends on the theme you're using. And I'm gonna show you what I mean right now. So we're in the WordPress dashboard. If we hover over Appearance and then click on Customize, we will open the Customizer. And this is for the Aveda theme that I'm running right now. And what you can do inside of here is just change some of the basics. So you can change your site identity, which is normally in settings general on your site. So you can change the site title and the tagline. You can have a site icon image you can upload here. You can change colors, header text, background color. And like I said, these change based on the theme. So. For the Aveda theme, this is, these are the options you have. For other themes, you have a lot more options. Change a header image, background image, menus, widgets, and you can read the rest. And when you make changes to any of these, they will upload live on the right-hand side. So I can waste your time and go through each of these, just adding menus, changing colors, but it's better for you to go into your site, pop into the customizer, and just change these things and see a live update of what you're doing on the right-hand side. If you're happy with what you've done, you can click on Save and Publish. If you're unhappy with the changes you made, you can just click on the X and leave, and no changes are actually applied to your site. So you can see live changes on your site without actually having live changes on the site, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go out of the Aveda theme uh, customizer, and I'm gonna change the theme. You can actually change it right in the, in the customizer as well, but I'm just gonna change it out here for this one. And next I'll show you the X theme first, the 2017, and then after that, the X theme customizer. So 2017 is activated. We go back into customize, and we see that these things have slightly changed a little bit. And WordPress made the 2017 theme. So you're gonna see a couple things that are a little different. There's pencils added to the text, which was not the case for the Aveda theme. If you click on these pencils, it takes you to the element inside the, uh, the theme customizer on the left. So it's pretty handy that way because you can just click on the pencil as it goes. It, it's a shortcut to the right elements on the side instead of navigating through all these menus to find them. And like I said, you make changes live and then they appear on the, the preview on the right. So if we change this to the X theme, As you can see, they got their own intro for the customizer. And they have a boatload more options than Aveda or 2017. And the, the X theme, of course, I don't know if you know about it, so it's not of course, but the X theme was developed to be created almost entirely in the customizer. So what you do is you choose a stack, which is basically they have three different stacks or four different stacks, which is a, a, a group of themes. Then within that theme group, you pick the specific one you want, and then nearly everything can be changed and edited right in the customizer. And this is as opposed to having theme options focused theme, where when you have the theme options, you make an edit, you have to save it, you have to go to the page, refresh the page, see how it looks, go back, and go back and forth, back and forth. Whereas when you do it in the customizer, you can make changes, and they live update on the right and you don't like that change, undo that change, or make a different change. So it's super simple that way. Um, let's just do a really quick change to see if it, it'll work. So I just like the dark from here, side went gray, everything went dark. Everything that's supposed to be dark with that change went dark. Choose light again, and it goes back to light. This takes a few seconds to update. And then if you like that, currently, the, the, another cool thing is currently the X theme is not activated. So what we can do is we can, we have the 2017 theme on the site right now. The X theme allows us zillions of options. We can customize our site completely and have it exactly how we want it. Then we can click up here on save and activate. So it'll save our changes and activate the theme at the same time, which is pretty cool. It's almost like having a development site without having a development site. It's actually really handy. So that is how you can use the WordPress customizer. And like I said, these options change based on the theme. 
if you want to check out these themes, I've linked to them below in the description. And other than that, if you have any questions, let me know down below. And as always, I'm Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, check us out on social media, and go to wplearninglab.com to see more tutorials just like this every single day. Talk to you soon.